Hey all, so this is just a short video where after 15 years later, I'm going to try my best to get better at parkour. Now, I was supposed to do Assassin's Creed 1 as requested, but sadly I've lost all my Assassin's Creed 1 save data, so I thought best to do Unity because it's the one that I've got the most data on to actually fully explore a town, well, city, and get my best at parkour. Now I am going to be doing this hoodless because I play this game a lot so I have a lot of muscle memory in a, well okay I don't play a lot of play take here but I think it'd be an extra little challenge now the reason why I don't touch parkour is I see an assassin as someone who walks the streets they sit in the crowds they hide in plain sight they don't run along rooftops like Batman they don't run around jump off the going I'm Batman they just it's just not what I envision However, Mirage and a lot of you Assassin's Creed community people have piqued my interest in parkour. So in these two episodes, I'm going to take a look at Unity Parkour as a novice, and then watch a few recommended videos to actually learn and do it better. So I will probably complain a lot about my parkour skills because they are atrocious. Although I do actually prefer combat, so I can understand why parkour is probably better to get out of combat because in this moment I did realise that it was best to run away instead of fighting. But here's where my first challenge lied. Parkour up. Now on control it's a little bit difficult because parkour up is a little bit fluid but to get into open window is a little bit more harder. I did press the L2 button to get in but for some reason the game just wasn't having it. So I do need to try and improve to make it more fluid. Now here's my first attempt on a route, I thought I could try and run along and see how far I go. And again, I rely a lot on parkour down, but it's not working, it's... It, the up and down system is what's confusing me. When do I go up? When do I go down? So a lot of my like little twists, turns and fall downs are probably stuff that I shouldn't be doing, because I shouldn't be relying on going down, I should be relying on high profile and parkour and up. So I the moment I'm gonna try and make my way to a viewpoint. And once we're at a viewpoint, I think then we can try and find a location to then aim for a full parkour route. So I am gonna try a few I did try a few little muscle memory tricks, you know, what's the parkour up, what's the profile, what the buttons, because I haven't actually played in a year, as I said at the start. And I don't usually play hoodless, but I have found that playing hoodless actually improves your muscle memory because you're not relying on button prompts you're trying to remember at this time to your own personal reaction times which i think is fun now i do like unity's movement style it's flashy it's fun but i don't like the camera i think this is the problem that i have with unity's parkour is how do you as you see i'm moving the camera like an absolute numpty so how do you chain parkour up and parkour down while also trying to keep the camera centralized and focused that could be me relying too much on the inputs. So that is something I will try and improve. So this is our first viewpoint. And again, a year, so please don't judge my terrible climbing skills to a, to a viewpoint. But we're going to get into some proper parkour-esque type shenanigans. I don't know if shenanigans is the right word, I just know that you are going to watch this and you are going to shake your head because there is better <laughs> YouTube people out there and 15 years I've been playing the franchise and I've never once actually stopped and try and parkour. Now I do love um, Arno's little transition movements. When I was recording this, I was impressed by the little um, movements, the little twirls. They look fancy. So we're not going to synchronise. We're going to aim for, I believe that's Notre Dame. So we'll um, leave a faith, if you can remember how, and then we'll plan our way across the rooftops, try a little combination of parkour up, parkour down, and while we're doing that, we should get to Notre Dame, and hopefully we should have chained together a good route. So I think we'll start going up with parkour up, and then I think I'm going to try and rely less on parkour up, parkour down, which is... Uh, right trigger on A and just try and keep high profile because here I did have the problem that 
even though I was trying to do it and go upwards, I wasn't keeping the forward momentum, I just kept falling down. And I think that was because I was pressing parkour down, which is kind of a bad thing to do. So I kind of struggled here. And bear in mind, this is my first attempt trying to like chain, but I quite liked what I was doing. I was quite impressed, you know, the little side drop down, the little leg flicks as he tries to jump, although I did go the wrong way. Um, little side climb with a one-handed grab. Arnold's really insane leaps as if he's got like springs in his boots or something. I, I don't know, he has some inhuman leaps. Um, the little side walls were pretty good. Um, here I thought this would be a good little point. Again, problem is my training with this was um, parkour up and uh, parkour down and I think that ruined the flow. I think I should, I really do need to improve on not relying too heavily on up and down because I'm so fixated on the old mechanics of it was a one button system and I do know that's why um, I crack on Twitter to suggest probably to do AC1 first but with AC1 having no safe profile it's probably going to take a long time to get this video created and I think Unity is a good starting point because it is flashy, it's fun and with the hoodless off it's very vibrant and alive and I quite like the look. So we are making decent headway, um, I'm trying to avoid chimneys, like I like going up and down but I think it just takes a lot of time but the part I go down here is where I start to enjoy it a little bit more but I still haven't found a way to change the route so I don't know why I'm crawling on every railing when I could just walk but I don't know I think it just looks nice, I think it's weird and odd. But, uh, and the Parisians probably think I'm looking a bit dumb, but it looks nice. And little side vaults that you just noticed there, that, that was parkour down. Oh, and I couldn't help getting in the assassination while I was here. I did learn that if you, I don't know if it's running at obstacles with a high profile, or if it was a combination of high profile and parkour down that did the little vault. I thought that was kind of fun. Um, here was my first little chain, but I messed up with the parkour down. I really think I could have gone round a little bit better if I didn't parkour down. So, I should have, again, that's my problem is I keep, I don't know the reaction time up, down, up, down, up, down, or do I not rely on up and down? So that is probably my big hurdle. So we're here at, we're at Notre Dame. Um, I do use parkour down a little bit just to get down faster, which after a while I did start to enjoy parkour down. It was kind of like a little flashy way to get down and it. it was fun. Um, weird thing is that the parkour is improved but the climbing speed still felt slow. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong but Arnold does feel like he climbs a little slow but when he's actually moving with parkour he's fast and this little chain was kind of fun but I don't know if it would look good enough so I kind of like wanted to move on to try and find something because even though we're at Notre Dame and I'm where I said I wanted to be and I've done a lot to get here really dodgily movement type I really want to try and find something else so I do like the little vaulting and the vault steps uh, I should have parked down at that point instead of like turning the camera around and jumping but the little vault is kind of adorable to do and I was like a little froggy this is my favourite part, I won't lie. To do a parkour down on this bit, and then a little bit of parkour up just to get a little more vantage point, that was fun. It did feel a little bit smooth and it felt really nice to do. Um, parkour down really makes you panic because I was worried that I was going to fall at some point. And this is where the game broke, actually. Uh, I parkour down to this point and I could not move. Like, Arno was just stuck, ready to drop the sickest mixtape of revolutionary Paris and then I found out if you just press parkour up he just wanted to move so I don't know why he got stuck and why the game was like not wanting to move so now this is the AC that I love the most the crowds I don't want to be in the rooftops because I like the crowds but when I could do like the vaults over stuff like that it kind of made me want to do a little bit more find a little bit more routes I was going to end here and say, job done, I'm terrible, let's go home. But I did think, come on, let's have a little bit of fun. Let's see if we can 
end it on a little on a little better chain to make it look fluid fun something that james can look at and, go, and clap his hand and go i'm proud of you and maybe redeem myself for complaining for the past three years that parkour is not very fun in assassin's creed so now this is where i'm going to try and get proper serious i'm going to try my hardest to plan routes chain uh, i'm going to try and focus less on parkour up and parkour down and just focus on the high profile system uh, and I think I did succeed here uh, when, I, when I got the, uh, the little route going I think it felt good and I quite liked the movements uh, it wasn't flashy or like side ejects or anything it was just good old hopping a bit hopping from bar to bar uh, a little bit parkour down because I didn't know where else to go then back up to a little climb I, I was quite impressed I think I did fudge up a little on that bit. I should have continued up instead of parkour and down. So that was my mistake. Um, I did try and continue the route though. I was I was quite happy. A little bit of um, AC freestyle tree parkour in, which is nice. And the more you do this little novice video, uh, the more I start to see that unit is full of routes. There's like loads of little areas to parkour, and once you get them routes, it's kind of nice and. I quite like that little twirl I managed to do and I just wish I could have, um, oh, what's the word, do a little um, swing on the pole instead of just dropping down but I think I really enjoyed the fact that I was able to parkour on that little bit route to an assassination because I love the little assassinations. Um, so here I, you know, think, oh I've done a good job, I think it's time to wrap up so I'm trying to find a good place to like wrap up, but I keep getting stuck. <laughs> like no matter what buttons I press, I just get stuck. It's like Arno cannot get past certain areas, and even if I park it up or park it down, it sometimes gets stuck in areas where you can't physically move, which makes realistic sense. Or he sometimes won't latch onto objects, but I think that's um, not the controls, but more where I'm positioning the character. So that is my own fault but at this point I'm too happy to care that I'm fudging up little mistakes because I feel like in this small 10 minute clip I have figured out it's best to look for roots don't rely too heavily on parkour up or parkour down and you know once you figure that out and go hoodless to see it more it's kind of nice but I'm still having issues with the, with the camera angle so I think maybe offset the camera angle sensitivity um, maybe not rely on it too much, you know, just let the character move and then when you're on the ground level change the camera. Um, because I do think I rely way, 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 way too much on trying to change the camera angle. And so, here's another little route, I thought I'll give it one last blast, see how well I could do, you know, the automatic turning, the little wall, wall run downwards, a little vault, uh, you know, I was getting a little happy at this point. I figured out the vaulting, the vaulting was kind of fun, kind of see, excited to see uh, Mirage with a little bit of vaulting. Um, I don't want Mirage to be this flashy, because I really think this flashy is best to do in a future game. I just want Mirage to actually maybe allow me to experiment a bit more, because 15 years I haven't touched parkour properly or even batted an eyelid, but now I can see the hype and the excitement, and I really do want to give it a go. Especially if there's roots like this where you could like hop from one object to another with some weird arm flailing emotion, um, animations. Uh, the wall crawl to a wall twirl to a drop is kind of nice. Um, I quite like being able to lock onto little banisters. And weirdly I don't know how he can stand on a lamp. I never figured that one out. So we are reaching the end in proper Declan. AC style and that is assassination to no hood combat and overall I really did enjoy making this episode and it's just a small off topic novice does parkour but I've come away feeling happy and I'm actually excited to do another clip after watching some videos and maybe a bit more fluid and more enjoyable so thank you all for watching me ramble on about parkour and actually really potentially fail in parkour but hopefully next time you'll see some more fluid animations, more fluid movements, and more exciting parkour to watch. Thank you.